Today, our country has lost a true American original, my friend and mentor, Robert C. Byrd. Senator Byrd was a man of surpassing eloquence and nobility. There are white I've seen a lot of white in my time. I admired his tireless advocacy for his West Virginia constituents, his fierce defense of the Constitution and the traditions of the Senate, and his passion for a government that improves the lives of the people it serves. There are white I've seen a lot of white in my time. They mentioned that he once had a fleeting association with a Ku Klux Klan, what does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. He was a country boy from the hills and hollows of West Virginia. He was trying to get elected. As Secretary of State, I continued to rely on his advice and counsel. Robert C. Byrd led by the power of his example, and he made all of us who had the honor of serving as his colleagues better public servants and better citizens. Robert C. Byrd left such a legacy. Everybody, happy Thursday. So in this day of the nanny state and political correctness, we've seen liberals throwing fits wanting basically everything banned and regulated. Gingerbread men? Sexist! Obama rodeo clown? Racist! Merry Christmas? Offensive! Ban it all! We know what's best! Sensitivity training! <laughs> so I went on Twitter and asked, what are the most ridiculous things that liberals have tried to ban? Well, a lot of people said Redskins. It's racist. But I mean, that one is so obvious, right? So I found even more hilarious ones amongst your replies. So with that said, here is my list of the top 10 most ridiculous things that liberals have tried to ban. Number one, junk food in schools, big gulps in New York City, and basically anything that looks like this. Tippies, we have tippies, we got lots of stuff. Number two, regulating cow farts, you know, to uh, save the polar bears from global warming or climate change disruption, whatever, whatever. Just ban cow farts. Number three, plastic bags. You forgot your bag? Oh, uh, yeah. You don't have it? No, I don't have my bag with me. We don't have any bags. Number four, horse-drawn carriages. Forcing Cinderella to have to take a cab. Number five, banning tobacco products from the military. About time to sound as a new sheriff. Number six, banning the extremely hurtful word known as bossy. Number seven, banning flights to Israel. All over! All this thing over! Number eight, guns. Yes, guns should be banned and taken out of the hands of law abiding citizens because guns kill people. Just like spoons make you fat. Guns kill. Oh, guns kill. Is that right? Well, let's see about that. Okay, gun, kill. Go ahead, kill someone. Don't be shy. Number nine, you can't wear a sombrero on a on a college campus because, you know, racist. Okay, so, you know, wear an American flag t-shirt. Oh crap, now wait, that's also considered racist and will get you sent home from school. I'm done. Please. I don't want to do this anymore. And the number 10 most ridiculous thing that liberals have tried to ban is none other than Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> I don't believe it! And that is my top 10 list for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Ellie May. Follow me on Twitter at E-L-L-Y-S-A underscore M-A-Y-E, Facebook.com slash Red Right True. Go to WayneDupree.com, hashtag Team Ninja. And hey, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be really cool. Thanks, yeah. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, send me a tweet. Okay, that's all, folks. Everything that you did at home, you're forbidden to do here. Everything? Everything?